What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video. Today we are finally tackling the anti-intrusion bars. Um, if you followed the last video, this is a mess right now by the way, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, next video, maybe, I might not even make it a video, but I need to clean this garage. Something fierce. Um, I sold some parts, but I need to, need to organize now. Um, <clears throat> So last video, we took out some of the extra basic like interior pieces, uh, stuff that was uh, spot welded from the factory, took a lot of the extra uh, sound deadening out of it. And then from there, we had to remove a good amount of sound, de sound deadening up here so that we could get our, um, our plate in basically. Um, you always want to have a almost like a mounting plate that is going to be like your base for where your cage meets up to the body because the uh, the metal is so thin so um, just gives it a better better place to mount to and everything so as you can see <clears throat> though not super pretty um, I was able to get a mounting plate on the driver's side here your man our lower port, uh, our lower part of our anti-intrusion bar. Basically, it's it's you know following this line of the lower lower door bar, going straight <coughs> into the the plate there, and then I already have a pre-cut section here with a big old gnarly notch in it. Um, basically, that is going to go in here and it's gonna line up with that top section. So you can see how that's kind of gonna be. Um, the whole point of this is to basically brace like the firewall, not really the firewall, but more or less the inner, the inner fender, um, basically. So if you go around here, obviously this is where your front wheel sits, um, and then this is where the plate is. So if at any point you were in a front end collision, collision or like, you know, kind of going to the side there, anything like that, where the wheel could potentially be crunched back up into the firewall. What that does, it keeps everything from intruding into the uh, driver compartment. So that's just an extra safety thing. I like the idea of it. I don't ever plan on having to, uh, you know, wonder what would happen if I was ever in a crash like that. But, uh, you know, I don't think anybody does, but they're sure glad that they have extra stuff like that when it does happen. So, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to mask up, uh, make sure we clean all our parts up really quick and, uh, basically weld it in. This is going to be a real quick video, I'm trying to make them kind of short and sweet at this point. Um, I know the whole like YouTube shorts are kind of beginning to be, uh, you know, more popular and things like that. I would rather make, a longer video but um, you know we're just figuring everything out feeling out the the whole YouTube thing still I think I'm right around like 20 23 or 24 videos here so we're like honestly it's been a crazy couple months um, obviously the following has been crazy but just trying to continue to put out content that I'd watch um, obviously I'm like big into like Adam LZ, TJ Hunt, Jimmy Oaks, um, all those guys. So, you know, not that I'm trying to like copycat them or anything, but I'm just like, you know, in the garage doing my thing. Taylor Ray, uh, probably like the closest thing to what I'm trying to accomplish as far as just like building it in the garage. Don't have necessarily all the tools that I need to do it right, um, but we're doing it. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's burn some metal. All right, so we've got everything cleaned up. We got everything level and where we want it to be. Um, I always like to make sure my MIG torch is nice and clean. Make sure there's nothing in it, slag or anything like that. Um, I typically, in the summer when I'm welding, I have to turn my AC off because I don't have a separate um, you know, like power power box out here for the welder or anything so typically like to 
try to try to make sure I'm getting consistent power and definitely welds a whole lot better when uh, when I turn the AC off so I'm just gonna go ahead and tack this lower bar in place I might throw a good bead on the front of this just because it's gonna be a little bit more difficult when I have the top tube in so I might get that in there right now but I'm just gonna tack it in place first that way when I start to do larger beads um, it's not gonna start moving around on me so prettiest tacks in the world, but we'll finish it up. Uh, I'm just going to get, like I said, a good weld on this side, just because it's going to be really hard to get in here. So I'm just going to knock this out real quick. All right, so I've got everything pretty much welded on the outer side here. It's hard to really get in there with the camera, so I just went ahead and did it off camera. This other bar is going to fit in here. Something like that. And I'm just gonna kinda get this lined up. And then what I'm gonna do is throw a tack on it. Make sure everything's where it needs to be. So that's good there. I'm gonna hold it in place. Keep my hands clear. And get the tack on it. Good tack. We'll double check where we're at here. A couple more tacks and then weld her solid. fun is getting tangled up in the bars so try to get the inside of these welded out I'm gonna finish welding out this bar too since uh, that's something I had left last time but yeah try to get these things fully welded start knocking out more sections of this and uh, so we can move on to the fun stuff so let's burn her in Alright guys, so I got the rest of it all welded in, finished welding some other stuff that I hadn't quite uh, knocked out, and uh, yeah, so I welded in there, real hot, again that was my prettiest uh, MIG welds, but she's in there, she's strong, and it's all going to be covered by uh, sheet metal well we'll show you that in a couple videos maybe obviously I have to finish up my vertical bars but yeah so anyway so we kind of talked about the safety factor of the anti-intrusion bar uh, that's keeping you know your wheel moving forward into the engine compartment um, so yeah feel really good about that um, so yeah we'll get 
Our vertical bar is down here. We'll work on the anti-intrusion bar there. Probably just off camera getting it knocked out. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for another quick one. I'm trying to shorten these up, like I said. So uh, if you have anything to add, questions, concerns, uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment, follow me on Instagram. We're just doing more and more cool stuff. I'm collecting parts. I might have gotten some parts in a in a shot there. Um, but yeah, well, we're gonna do some really cool stuff. Very, very different from what a lot of folks have been doing with this chassis. So really excited, but uh, until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day.